Logitech launched two new MX mechanical keyboard and an update to their MX master mouse. These are all part of their master series, which are created for advanced digital creators. They sent me these products for review, but before we do that, I'm going to unbox them, set them up, and share with you my first impression of these products. After I have a chance to deploy these products on a daily basis and test them for a little bit in different scenarios, I will create a more in-depth video to share with you my thoughts about these products overall. Let's unbox them. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. For full disclosure, Logitech sent me these products for review. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. I want to share with you a quick background for their master series. And these are pretty much mouse and keyboard that they have created that are designed for a creative professional like myself. I am a photographer. I do these video for YouTube and I do other design projects on the side as well. I find that these product works really well for what I need to do on a daily basis. And I have been using their mouse for the longest time. So we're going to start out by unboxing this new MX Master 3S, which is the mouse. Now, the current mouse that I'm using on a daily basis at this point of time is the MX Master 3. This is the 3S, so they have done some upgrade to this. Now, my background with this mouse is that I have been using a version of this mouse since the original MX that was released a few years back. When they release an update to it, the MX2S, I also upgraded that one. I own a few of those. And the current one that I'm using right now is the MX3. So this is the MX3S, which is the upgrade to it. A few things that makes this mouse entirely new is the fact that they have gone through and changed all the buttons on the inside. So to click, it's now much more silence. We're going to be testing that out. And the other thing about this mouse too is that they have upgraded the sensor to an 8,000 DPI sensor, which is really crazy. That's coming up from the 4,000 DPI sensor in the previous generation, the MX Master 3 from this mouse. And one of the advantages they say is that this is going to allow you to be able to track on glass. Let me put it this way. Since the original MX series mouse, I have already been able to track on glass and glossy surfaces where other mouse would fail, don't know what to do. These MX Masters have no problem tracking on them at all, which is another reason why I love these mouse because sometimes, I mean, if you've seen my other studio table before, it's a glossy surface and yes, I'm trying something new. So let me know what you think about this, you know, wooden table surface too, but Back to the mouse quickly. So anyway, being able to track on numerous type of surface without having to bring a sheet of paper in or anything like that to put under the mouse so it can detect the sensor location where it's at is definitely a big plus for me. All right, for this mouse, let's take a look at what's on the inside of this box. You pretty much just get the box like that and we're gonna cut this open. So once we open this up, what we have is the mouse. This is the color that is called pale gray. The other one that I currently already have is kind of like the darker graphite color. So these come in two different colors and you can choose those. I really like the look and the color of this. It looks really nice. So there's some sticker on the bottom that walks you through whether you want to use the new Logitech Bolt controller or the Bluetooth. And in just clicking these right now, I mean, these are really super silenced. Very different than the other one, the MX Master 3 that I have used before. And this is their new dongle, the Logitech Bolt. So it is a little bit different than the unifying dongle, primarily in the technology that they use on the back end. The unifying dongle uses a wireless frequency at 2.4 gigahertz, which is more prone to, I would say, interference because a lot of devices, including some kitchen appliances, use that frequency. So when things are turning on and everything like that, well, sometimes it interferes with the connection. And the other thing about this as well is that the Logitech both. Dongle uses a new Bluetooth low power technology, which is also much more secure as well. And this is going to help prevent any type of hacking that may happen from a wireless device using keyboard or mouse control on the system. So this is a move in the right direction. And I'm glad to see that they are using this. Now, in my full test, we're going to do a few things. We're going to test whether if we pair, for example, the mouse and the keyboard to this Bolt device right here, this Bolt dongle, which by the way, you can pair up to six devices to this, whether if we move the USB port on the computer, will this dongle still work or is it encrypted to that specific USB port? So we're gonna find that out how secure it is. And the other thing too, is that we're going to test the signal and just kind of give you my overall feedback from that. But pretty much that's what you get in the box. And the other thing that you get is pretty much the charging cable, which is what Logic provide as a standard. 
A few more things about this mouse. It has ultra fast scrolling thanks to its MagSafe electromagnetic scroll wheel that allows you to scroll up to 1000 lines per second and stop directly on a pixel. I haven't tested this out yet. However, if the previous MX series are any indicator, this can only be an improvement. The battery life on this does last for quite some time. Again, I have not tested this out yet because I just pulled it out, but in the previous MX Master 3 that I've used, the battery life does last for quite some time. And on the mouse itself, the design is very similar. There is a USB Type-C charging port, and they also give you a USB Type-C to USB a charging cable that comes with the mouse as well. Now, a couple things to note about this is that when you have the cable plug in, you can plug in the USB-A into the computer or into a power adapter or into any USB port that will provide enough power to charge the mouse. However, that is for charging only. It will not carry any type of data connection. The only way to connect this mouse to your computer is either via the Logitech Bolt dongle or directly with the computer Bluetooth. Now, that being said, this mouse, as I mentioned before, comes in two different colors. This is the pale gray, which uses 22% post-consumer recyclable plastic to be more environmentally sustainable, while the graphite version uses 27% of that. This mouse is also compatible with Logic Option. That is the program that Logitech have created for these MX series mouse, and it allows you to go in and customize all these buttons on the mouse so it can do something else, not the default function that they have configured is from the factory. The nice part about that program too is that you can define specific application and customize that so that each different application, when you press the same button, performs a different task, which is really awesome. And another thing too is that you can save all those settings to the Logic Cloud and pretty much load it onto another machine, which makes transferring your Logitech device from one machine to the next, a breeze. And that's something that I really love about it. It also comes with Logic Flow, which allows you to copy file from one machine to another, for example, from a Mac to a PC, a PC to a Mac and so forth. I haven't used that function that much at all, but that is another thing that is included with this. And it will also apply to the mechanical keyboard as well. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at the mechanical keyboard option, which is something that I'm really looking forward to because I have been tinkering and really want to get a mechanical keyboard for some time, just haven't really picked which one yet. And I mean, in the world of mechanical keyboards, some of them can range as high as $5,000, a custom built one. And let me put it this way, I can't stomach that. But having a keyboard that's specifically built this way, yeah. I really like this and the price point is really easily attainable as well. Logitech is leveraging their gaming keyboard manufacturing expertise and now they are putting these mechanical keys for these creative keyboard. It comes in two different sizes, a full size keyboard, which is called the MX Mechanical, as you see here. It also comes with a number pad and also a mini version, which is the MX Mechanical Mini, which sends pretty much the number pad and also the extra function key on the side. And everything is just pretty much on the same size as I would say like a laptop keyboard, but it is still a full size keyboard. So that's really good there. Both of these keyboard comes in three different key type that you can choose from. Now the two of them that they sent for me to try out. One of them is the Tactical Quiet. This is the brown key type. And pretty much with this one, there is a different response when you press down and the way how it return is a little bit different. They also sent me another one. This is their red key type and this is the linear. So the linear one with the red key type, you pretty much press it down, it comes up right away. And both of these I think are on the more quieter side. They also make the blue key type as well, which is a lot more, I would say like clickety per se. So I think that these two, the one that they sent me is probably gonna be best to use in an office environment in the studio. I mean, especially for filming like this, if you're doing any typing, this way is not too loud because let me put it this way. I have an experience talking with numerous of my friends who have used mechanical keyboard and they have the clickety type. So when they're taking notes, you definitely hear those notes coming pretty much through the phone or the conference call and so forth. So I think that these are a move in the right direction and I appreciate that you have different options that you can choose. So let's start out by unboxing the full size mechanical keyboard first. All right, so in the package, what we have is some instruction at the very top. You have the keyboard that is really nicely wrapped. Wow, this is cool.
little cart there for Logitech. You have this bolt dongle still, so they are now including bolt with this, and you have the cable that you can use to charge this keyboard up. And this is pretty much what the keyboard looks like, which is really cool. So this is the brown quiet, and I'm gonna do some pretend typing so you can hear what this sounds like. So it does have a little bit of that clickety type, but I think this is really good. And if you really take a look at this keyboard right now, if you look at the profile of the key, this is not like a high profile key or anything at all. It still is a fairly low profile key, but it does definitely have that travel. On the keyboard itself, you do have a USB type C, a power switch, and as always, this USB type C, very similar to the mouse, is for charging the keyboard only. You cannot run a direct cable or anything like that to the computer and expect it to function. It has to be either connected wirelessly to the bolt or the Bluetooth on your system. On the bottom side, pretty much you also have these two legs that you can flip up and raise the keyboard up a little bit more. So if you want it a little bit more at an angle, you can. And always, this is compatible with Logic Option, which is going to be really great. Now let's put this to the side for just a moment. And what we are going to do is open up the mechanical mini keyboard. So this one, as I mentioned already, the MX Mechanical Mini is using the tactile key. This is the red key, so it's going to sound a little different. Again, very nicely done on the package itself, and it's also nicely wrapped. The one thing I'll also make a comment on is that I really appreciate their packaging that they're trying to eliminate plastic being used that are using paper wrapping instead and everything is just like paper. I mean, avoid plastic as much as possible is a good thing because those are hard to recycle. You get the bolt dongle that comes with that still and also the charging cable, which is very similar to the charging cable that comes with the mouse. One USB-C on the other end, the other one is USB-A. And again, as we talked about the connections already, it won't link out to computer for data. The keyboard itself is a little bit smaller and this is the way how the red key sounds. So let me do a comparison between the two, the red, and this is the quiet brown. Go to the red one more time. Quiet brown. So the quiet brown, yes, it is a little bit more quiet than the red, but I really would be totally happy using these both. And I also have a key sample right now that is for the blue key, and this is how the blue generally would sound. So the brown and the red sounds really close to each other, but this is the blue. So that's the reason why I may not recommend using a blue in an environment where you have to share workspace between people because it could be loud. The construction itself, I mean, there's the plastic on the top there. This is for signal on the side itself. This is pretty much an aluminum base and it's really well constructed. Again, on the very bottom, you have these feet that you can kick up. And that's just pretty much the mini version. So you have all the extra function key there, the page up, page down, and home, delete. And you also have the control for the left, right, up, down, pretty much tuck in on the side here. So depending on the type of key that you want to use. Currently, I'm using Logitech Craft Keyboard. I initially purchased that keyboard because it has the craft scroll wheel on the top left of the keyboard. And the way how that integrated with Lightroom during the demonstration was really awesome. I can go through and edit my image really quickly. However, after using it, I ended up customizing a whole bunch of other keys instead and setting that craft dial to do something else. But all that is done via the Logic Option program. And the Logic Option also makes it really nice. As I mentioned before, you can customize the setting for each of the key based on the application that you're using. And that also has one big feature too, is that when I was transitioning from my Mac Pro to the Mac Studio, I simply log into Logic Option on both the machine. On the Mac Pro, I upload the settings that I have. On my Mac Studio, I download all the settings and pretty much everything that I have customized on my mouse, on my keyboard, for all those specific programs just came over. I didn't have to spend that much time at all pretty much resetting and reconfiguring everything. Now that is the experience I expect to get from all of these devices on my table right now as well. And that is really awesome because they all integrate with Logic Option.
A couple of other things about these Bolt dongles that they will link up to six devices in a secure manner. So that's good. We're going to be testing those out. And each of these devices can link up to three different computers. As you can see, one, two, and three, one, two, and three here. And also on the mouse itself, you have the button on the very bottom that can link up to one, two, and three device. So I'm going to be testing this out in a mixed environment to see if one can link up to Bluetooth, the other one can be linked up to like the Bolt connection and maybe see if this is going to work with the unifying dongle as well, will recognize it or not. So we'll be doing all those tests in the full review. A couple other things I wanted to share about this is that you can see from the keyboard right now is that it has a dual color key, which makes peripheral typing like really good. So you don't have to really constantly look at the key the whole time. You can just glance down a little bit and kind of know where you are. The key pitch itself is 19 millimeters. There are some travel, but it's not something that will make you fatigue or anything like that, which is really good. And so far, just playing around with it, it seems really comfortable. Now, this also has smart illumination, which is a feature that I'm used to on the Craft keyboard already. Pretty much you can have the keyboard light up as soon as you approach it the moment it senses that your hands away the light just turned off and this helps a lot with battery life and speaking of battery life on a full charge using the backlight illumination logitech claims that you can get 15 full days of use and if you turn off the illumination you can get up to 10 months so I'll probably end up doing a video with this like down the road to see how long it really lasts. But as of now, and so far in my using of the Craft Keyboard, everything is you know functioning really well and the keyboard battery life has been really good. A few other things I want to note about this is that the LED function on these keyboard also has a personalized lighting effect and there are six effects that you can choose. There is a static breathing, contrast, wave, random, and reaction. So I don't know what that's like yet. So we're going to, you know, power this on. And in my full review, I'll share that with you guys a little bit more. And lastly, we got to talk about the signs of sustainability. The MX mechanical keyboard have 45% post-consumer recyclable plastic, while the MX mini have a little bit more at 47%. So you can buy these knowing that, you know, they do use recycled materials inside these keyboard. But anyway, that has been the unboxing and my first initial impression of these keyboards so far, I think I'm really going to like this setup in general because I have been using the product already and I really like the way how it integrates with the computer system. So if there's anything that you'd like to know about these keyboard, these mouse, these new product from Logitech, leave them in the comment section below. If there's something you want to test, let me know. I will test them and share with you the result in the full review. Otherwise, give this video a like, subscribe and hit the bell if you're new and in art we trust.